What's up, my fellow YouTubers? So I figured I'd talk about one of my favorite uh, true crime shows of all time, uh, See No Evil. Now, when you start talking about See No Evil with people that don't know about it, they automatically think about the movie with Kane in it from the WWE. They're like, oh, the movie with Kane. And I'm like, no, no, no. This is a, a real-life documentary of people that really die, and they find out how they died and who killed them by going back to the cameras and they recorded, you know, where they were when they were alive, but you don't see everything, right? So that's what makes it so addicting and kind of creepy. Like, uh, I bought six seasons, but then, you know, got the Discovery Plus app. I think they're up to 10 now. And um, I've, I've binge-watched all of them multiple times. And what basically the whole thing is about, somebody dies, and then the cops go you know, investigating and saying, hey, can we use your camera footage from this store or that store or that? And it's real footage of the people when they were alive and you see them walking, right? Boom, 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 walking. And they're not aware that they're going to die, but you know that they die, right? And that's what makes it creepy. And then all of a sudden, sometimes you'll see somebody stalking them, like, who's that? And then you see somebody like, whoa, holy shit. And then they get in the car and then you see somebody else waiting for them and then sometimes they don't show it because it's it's real and it's brutal and they don't want the families to see it understandable but for the most part it's like wow i think there was one episode where they actually they found the girl alive and she was interviewed after that like the guy kidnapped her and they you know using the the footage they they found her before she died and she did the interview and i was like so like wow that was so emotional um Nowadays, I don't know why, but they fucking, they, instead of like 20 episodes, they cut it down to 10. I don't know why, but um, either way, okay, 10 episodes, fine, I'll take 10, right? Because you have no choice anyways, but um, they, they've they they've gotten still, they're still good because it's it's true crime, right? It's not like reenacted stuff. It's, it's I mean, they reenact you know, they have actors reenact the fill-ins for, you know, the what happens before, but the actual footage is real. Uh, so if you're looking for a good true crime documentary that uh, will have you coming back for more, definitely get the Discovery Plus app and binge watch this. You will, you will not be disappointed. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, true crime uh, series is. I think this is up my top five. Um, if not, probably right up there with Homicide Hunter, because uh, that's another big one for me. And Nightmare Next Door, that's, that's what really uh, brought me to the dance. But um, let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, true crime show is. All right, peace out, my fellow YouTubers.